So welcome back to Better Life PH. Today we are in the bush, still around the, our view. Uh, we should we're kind of border our land. Uh, we are preparing for one. Gia's helping her in the background. Uh, we're preparing for uh, the second last electric pole. So they're looking for big rocks to put in the hole to add uh, stability. So. In here we have four holes. Wanna say hi? Oh, you're flashing the camera? I can't do that. That's a. Uh, so, uh, your dad is over there somewhere. Uh, I think there. So, we have one uh, number three pole, and then we'll have three cables are, uh, attached to it because it's gonna be carrying. Uh, uh, cable from, uh, yeah, it's a little bit behind the banana here, but all the way over there. So, yeah. Here. Can, you, can you bring it to, to Loloi? In there? No? In there. Somewhere in there. Yeah. We don't understand each other, but we talk to each other, right? I have no idea what you're saying, but... <laughs> so I'm trying to get him to bring... Okay. He just dropped the rock. That works too. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be... Probably 200 meters or something of cable. All the way over here. So, yeah. They, they seem to think it'll work. I have a feeling we might need a couple of extra poles, but we will see. Uh, and then we have up there is the final pole uh, that we're gonna have, and then the house is right next to it. So I hope it's visible here. Um, but yeah, so that's the number two up there, and the number three is quite a bit bigger. There were even discussions. So welcome back to Better Life PH. Today we are in the bush, still around the, our view. Uh, yeah, the camera died, but that's standard these days. So he is bringing the rock in there. Right, awesome. So down here, uh, I have a wild guess that this is where the water goes uh, when it's raining strong. So there's a bunch of big rocks and stuff down here in the gully. Uh, I'm not going down there, I'm wearing shorts as usual. Alright, Blackie. Yeah, you going down? Hi. Uh, there's also... We have a pony up here. And this is where Lola is gonna uh, put his house. We also have some things I'm trying to avoid stepping on. There we go. Alright. And... They have a, a bigger septic prepared than we do. So it's quite deep, not jumping in. So I think Lola did this completely on his own uh, in like a couple of days. So hardcore. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. We also uh, prepared uh, a couple, or we bought a couple of walkie talkies. Uh, so when it's time to do the line thing, or pulling the wire from there all the way here. Uh, they can communicate. Uh, we have, uh, let me see, I brought one, we've tested it. We need to charge it, but we have, uh, let's see. There we go, bow fang or something. So yeah, just an easy. Simple little walkie talkie. Uh, seems to work. Not the best sound in the world, but they claim that it essentially will go all the way over there to the ridge there behind the tree. So, like a kilometer away at least. Um, we'll, uh, we'll find out. Uh, Lolan has wanted a, a walkie talkie the entire time. I, until now, haven't figured out what. We would use it for, but <laughs> my pony. So yeah, it is. Uh, they're preparing. So um, 
thinking they will do the bring up the pole and we need gravel and cement but cement we have up here gravel we have down by the road at least three bags uh, someone has to bring them up though it's that's fun um, but yeah we'll see yeah I'll uh, pause here until we have something more to talk about see you so I'm making my way to the hole now. I'm trying not to crush Anissa's ginger. Uh, so they also have something look like rhubarb, whatever, rhubarber, but I'm not sure what plant that is. Let's see. And I just walk towards ah. Oh, so I walk towards the Geo noise. <laughs> uh, cornfield. Right, so here's the hole with a weirdo in it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we got rocks. And a wife somewhere. It's a swim. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah? You're quiet now when you're on camera? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. That's how deep it is. Alright. We'll be back. So here's Ken. Ken's been pushing his bike. It was over at the central before. And, huh? It's a bicycle, yeah. So I saw my wife for a while. She and the niece are helping with finding rocks somewhere in the bush. Uh, I'm here with this thing. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's the. the that's the oldest uh, girl, boy, girl, if I remember correctly. Well behaved. They're both, or all three X. Well, this one is relatively well behaved, but it's a four year old, so it's very loud. That one, I think, is six or seven. And then we have Ariane in between them. So, yeah, they were busy, but. Uh, well, we'll see. Ho hopefully, they're done by three because kids are expensive. These are doing well, though. They're, two of them are doing well in school, huh? I don't know what that means. Still, you need to clean your nose, though. Uh huh. Yeah. I have no idea what he's saying, but it doesn't stop him from talking to me, and doesn't stop me from talking to him either. So it's all good. Yes. That. That's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, yeah, the guys, they got a few days off. Uh, so, even though it's Sunday now, they're working, doing the plastering. Uh, they want to get it done, and they got paid for it. So, they're happy. Alright. Oh yeah, nice. Once again, this is the rainy season, so it's a good day. It's uh, kind of warm, but we have this really nice cool breeze today. And it's not humid because it didn't rain yesterday, so it's... I'm saying 23, 24 degrees, but with a nice breeze, so it's actually really nice. Uh, I haven't seen an eagle today though, but we'll see. Anyway, see you. Still uh, collecting rocks here. Ooh, I'm just sitting up in the shade away from the kids where it's a bit quieter. Uh, but yeah, they always oh, wrecking that too. All right. uh, they need quite a lot of rocks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. And um, so, 
Not sure who the guy in the white is actually, it's one of the neighbors. I don't know, he's the captain. Uh, don't know, I don't understand. Uh, but that's, yeah, Lola and Anise and two of their kids. Uh, Ariane, I don't know, she was uh, down by the road before, who knows. They're kind of self-regulating here. Uh, like three and four, or four and five and six year olds just running around playing and then they come back and, and nosebleed and a cut in the arm and stuff like that. But uh, they're still alive, all of them. They have more scratches on them than any kid I've ever seen in the West. But uh, they're extremely happy on the other hand. They're not stuck in front of an iPad all day. But yeah. So. Uh, they're filling up the, the cement bags with rocks, different sizes. We have four holes to fill with it, so it'll be quite a bit. But we have a, the ground here, the solid here, that we move a lot, a lot of it is, yeah, as you can see here, there's a lot of rocks in it. Most of this is sandstone though, so it's not exactly durable, but some of them are more hard, are harder. Um, and then we brought in uh, the, what's been dumped here on the road right down from me by the dog. That's been brought in here. So we have some of the smaller ones that are, uh, um, yeah, some other kind of rock. It's not sandstone at least. And the water is still oily but still running. And yeah, like I discussed in other videos, so the kids were drinking that water before. It's pretty much the only water they have. So when we get uh, our water, which will be on that side, uh, from that side, I'll go over there actually and uh, see if I can see anything. Uh, then we'll, uh, we'll add a hose down to them, uh, I think. So they have some clean, cleaner at least water to uh, drink and bathe in. I wouldn't drink it regardless, but obviously they're used to it. So. Their immune system is more adapted to it than mine is. Uh, if you're from the, the West, I would strongly advise against drinking anything except bottled water or from uh, one of the many uh, water stations. They delivered uh, five, I think, five gallon drums or uh, whatever they are plastic big plastic bottles full of water and it costs almost nothing so there's no reason to risk a week on the toilet just to save 50 pesos or 25 pesos uh, yeah all right oh ah, bloody shoe uh, so yeah I'm not going through this with shorts this piece of crap broke again. Uh, like tenth time today. Uh, it's the best quality ones I've found so far, so can't really just replace them. But I'll find something one day that actually lasts a bit. This have a better sole than the normal Croc wannabe uh, knockoffs have. But yeah, so we'll have water coming from over there and then just add a pipe over to them we're also gonna have when we have electricity we'll have a line going down to them it's not far and uh, when we get internet which I'm hoping we don't have to go Starlink because Starlink is quite expensive but most likely it's gonna be Starlink uh, I don't know if we can get um, uh, PLDT or globe fiber or something we need to ask around see if it's even possible in this area to get it if it is we'll go with that because then it's like I think 1500 pesos a month still expensive uh, but if I remember correctly unless Starlink has changed the prices like 2500 2700 a month so Currently we're using GOMO, which is a Globe Affiliate, um, and it's 
uh, 6.99 it was 4.99 when we started but they raised the price like every month and it's unlimited and real unlimited not just it's completely unlimited for 30 days when they have the promo for it but uh, it's not really that great especially up here in the mountain uh, it's okay in Davao yeah good workout good workout yeah, going to the gym um, but yeah I wouldn't advise uh, using Gomo outside of the big cities um, but yeah it is what it is so that's what we will end up most likely using um, it's probably gonna be Starlink but we'll have a repeater so we have a wider area and we can cover them as well so give them part of the bandwidth so they bought a phone, uh, so they have uh, the smartphones here are very different. Uh, well not very different, but they're the, they're not the same brands generally uh, that we will ever see in the West. I mean, you can get a Samsung or iPhone here as well, but they're probably more expensive than in the West. Uh, but usually they have a bunch of different unknown for me unknown Chinese uh, phones cost around I think a uh, hundred two hundred bucks and they're smartphones but limited uh, in many ways uh, so we're not talking like uh, Xiaomi or uh, Huawei or something like that we're talking way less than that but um, yeah you can imagine how boring it is to be in the middle of the bush like here in not having, I mean, essentially TikTok, that's the big thing here. They they like to watch TikTok. You'll be walking down the street and uh, girls or boys will be pr uh, practicing their TikTok dances or watching TikTok. Um, and whatever you may think about that, that's at least what's doing, what's going on here. So they, uh, yeah, they got a phone now. Um, and uh, we'll uh, add internet in a few months when we're living here and we have we, because we obviously need internet um, yeah should be good and uh, electricity I think will they'll just pay what they use it's not gonna be much uh, or just have them like work half a day or something just we don't want to uh, give too much because it sets a bad precedent in general um, I'm very much against welfare of all kinds. We've seen what it did to Africa and big parts of the US, it's and to Sweden, and it's it's not smart, it's better to make people better their lives and it's not like uh, Lola and Anise or that those kind of people that just sit down. Uh, in fact, apparently he even said so himself that you can't expect anyone to do it for you, you're gonna have to work hard and yeah, I mean you see him it's constantly working, lifting heavy and going hard and uh, obviously uh, he does it for a very good price and he's super friendly and they help us out a lot so in return of course we're gonna make sure that we have their backing just don't want them relying on us um, they should build their lives the way they want it not have handouts or anything um, yeah like I said, it, it's common here, but definitely not these people at all. Uh, but you, you, you will see in certain areas, there's a lot of beggars. There's a lot of people that when they make money, they go uh, gamble or drinking or um, smoking. A lot of people smoke here. Um, smoking is pretty much uh, over with in Sweden. Uh, they use snuff instead of this, um, not chewing tobacco, but you have a little disgusting pouch of tobacco and shove it under your lip. Smells disgusting, but at least it smells uh, less than cigarettes. And yeah, all right, yeah, I have opinions. So all the smokers that check this, uh, sorry, but you know it's a stupid, stupid habit. So anyway, yeah, no, we'll, um, uh, we'll, uh, Definitely make sure that uh, they are doing well. Uh, they will make half the profit of the corn. Um, 
Uh, so that should help them. And uh, I've, I've been thinking about if we should help them get a, a motorcycle, like a cheap one, nothing fancy, just something simple uh, so he can move around. It's also good for us in case uh, Lorlin is here and I'm not bringing the car. She doesn't want to drive, so she has a license, she doesn't want to drive. And then uh, he can give her a ride. And they can go fetch things without us having to do it and stuff like that. So I'm I'm thinking about it. Um, we, were gonna, we were gonna actually check today. They have something called I think Rusi. It's uh, like a national na nationwide uh, motorcycle or moped uh, reseller. They sell used as well. You see them all over the place and there's one in Tavas, so a tiny little town the second closest to where we are right now it takes like 10-15 minutes to get there uh, but it's Sunday so they were closed but we'll probably go over there and take a look see how much they are like we're not gonna spend like hundreds or tens even of thousands on it but if we can find one cheap and then just have him work it off if he wants one it's kind of his call of course but I, th I think because he keeps having to borrow it from his brother-in-law or people or friends or something like that if ever wants to do something and I think it's yeah I'm um, very for the American way of everyone should have a car or at least a, f a vehicle in Sweden everyone takes buses I, it's insane I mean people my age that don't even have a driver's license I, I don't get it I think that's a must-have but I'm from a different generation anyway enough rambling um, hope no one minds me just meandering but that's the channel so <laughs> all right my wife and people are uh, chilling over there. Ken Ken is walking around with his bike. He's walking with it more than he's riding it, but that's good because I've seen him riding it and he's definitely gonna get hurt. Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry for the rambling. I'll give you a nice view as usual. Our uh, mandatory goodbye. See ya. So it's time to make concrete here. Oh, move. Oh, a little bit out of the way. <laughs> yes, helping. He wants to be involved. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's helping out. Yeah. Love has been going hard today. I think he had lunch, but we have snacks, but not right here. And apparently they weren't interested yet. But yeah. This is how uh, concrete is made here, usually. Make a volcano and then mix and then uh, have a bucket. I'm assuming they're going to use the bucket. Yeah, so yeah, once again, this is for the four uh, holes for the electric poles. So one pole and then three uh, support. Um, put, uh, I'm assuming tie wire actually, because that's the only thing we have, but we'll, we'll see. And uh, yeah, uh, the cable will come from the other direction, so I only need three supports. It's not gonna go forward, that's for sure. Uh, or sorry, it's not gonna go. We're not gonna need a support on the forward one. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go say hi to Piggy. I hear. Let's see how do we get over here? Bato. I don't know what bato is. I should know. I've heard it before. You gonna get more rocks? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. Should I be helping? Yes. Am I gonna know? No. Uh, I'm gonna go play with the piggy. It's uh, my privilege. I hear a noise. 
I'm not sure why I'm stepping here. I'm hoping I'm not messing up anything. This looks like weeds to me, so... Um, I'm hoping I'm correct. Hi, buddy. Or, I should. this is a mama pig. Their plan is to make more piggies out of this one. So they just park her in different spaces where they want. Hi. Yeah, I fed you before, you know me. So they park her where they want the, the soil uh, fixed or opened up. Yeah. Hi. Uh, so yeah, I guess tilled is a decent term for what she does to <laughs> the soil. But yeah, looking for food. We may have mess messed up their tailing last place because I ended up giving her a whole bunch of bananas and she switched to that instead of doing the soil. But we like animals, so... Uh, and uh, this one hopefully won't be eaten in a long while. Uh, the plan, like I said, is to make more piggies. They'll get a big pig in Mater. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you look absolutely horrible, but you're very friendly at least, so I'm not gonna step on you. Uh, yeah, there's, I think that's Toto's house, he's barely ever there, but, yeah. Whew, nice breeze here. So this is their land, it's, uh, they got, uh, I think these are paper trees. Uh, and they've been here quite a, lot, uh, a while. Based on what I heard, they were difficult to do anything with since they're not straight. Oh, I'm running out of battery. All right, I'll get the hint. I'm just babbling anyway. Uh, so yeah, see you around. So the pole is coming up. Looks a bit crooked though, but I don't think it put any uh, concrete yet. It's put most likely just stones. And I think I'm is doing. The concrete mix here. Hi, <sighs> Piggy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this is province life. Yeah. Property of my girlfriend, yeah. I'm not entirely sure they know the meaning of the, uh, that t shirt, but you'll see a lot of those in Asia. <laughs> Things that didn't sell in the West end up here are very cheap or affordable. It's not cheap, it's not a good word actually, it's affordable because the quality is actually quite good if you go to Ukai Ukai. Uh, the quality is fine. I'm wearing part Ukai Ukai now. I think, I think the shorts may be from Sweden, but yeah. I hope they aim it right. Yeah, they know what they're doing. I can't see anything in there in the bush, but we have. There's a pole and uh, some more concrete on the way, so yeah, I guess they are doing the concrete as well. But yeah, anyway, see you. So, Lola is saying hi to Lola and Anissa's horsey. Lucky? The name? What's the name Lucky? George. Huh? Red horse. Red horse. Uh, oh. <laughs> so red horse is the favorite beer here. It's quite obvious. It's a brown horse, <laughs> no, but sure. That the owner likes beer. Red horse, yeah. Oh, it was named before it got here, or or is it uh, Lolo that likes red horse? Uh, it's Lolo. It's Lolo that likes red horse. All right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, super friendly. It's almost one year old if I'm if I was told uh, don't quote me on that because I can barely understand the uh, translations I get sometimes but it's supposed to be like one year old <laughs> and uh, for those that think about getting a horse it's like 300 bucks apparently for this size 
15,000 pesos. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Friendly. Likes to slobber on things. All right. 